Hey there, um, I'm Michael. Um, today I've got a screen replacement to do. Screen's right here on a Dell Latitude 5480. Um, so I think I mostly have the bottom off. Yeah, okay. So to take the bottom off of this one, all the screws on the bottom are captive and they're, um, they're Phillips head. So you just unscrew them, they don't come out, and then you kind of just get your fingernails under here to get it off. Um, so what I'm going to do in here is just disconnect the battery, which is a good idea to do before you replace the screen. Uh, so that's just disconnected from the motherboard, and we'll leave it like that. Um, now the screen. Let's turn this over. It is definitely cracked. You can see it right here. Um, depending on the angle, you may not be able to see it. Let me see if I can move it around a little bit. There's a little gash there and a, a series of lines there. And so basically when you turn this thing on, you don't get video. Um, I did get video by plugging in an HDMI cable here into a monitor over there and it, it, uh, it comes up and it works. So just replacing the screen. Um, hopefully I can get under here with my fingernails and get this get this bezel separated. Feels like there's some some adhesive. I can hear it crackling. Okay, so I gotta get under here. I'm not too worried about breaking the screen because it's already broken, but I don't want to damage this bezel. Just got to get it started coming off. Uh, here it comes. Got the bottom. Let's see if I can get this to go up the side. Wow, that is really adhesed. Oh, it's coming off uh, from this side. That's cool. That work. You hear the adhesive uh, lot up top. Okay, so I should be able to take it across here. And down. Okay, and there's an adhesive strip right there. Okay, so there's the screen. Looks like we've got four screws. One, two, three, four to take out. And it's best to take the bottoms out first. And that's because if you take the top off first and you take the bottoms off, it's more likely to just fall on you. I think this is probably going to be kind of stuck in there though. The, uh, the wires for the uh, antennas for the Wi-Fi are right around the side, uh, as well as the wire for the, um, the webcam. Although the webcam may come down through here, you can kind of see its connector there. So when I go to take this thing off, I'll need to make sure I'm not pulling on the uh, the webcam cable, so I'm just going to get under the metal bit here, metal bit there. Okay, webcam cable is going like that, and it's not it's not attached to uh, to the screen with adhesive. So you lay it down, and you peel back the tape. Usually this is a a clear piece of tape. This is opaque on this model, but under here is the uh, the cable. The display cable that's running from the motherboard. Ah, okay. There's opaque tape, and then under it there is a clear piece of tape. So it's both. I don't think I've seen that before. Man, 
That is some serious tape. That won't come off. get the two tapes together and peel them back. You want to be careful here because it's also attached to the display cable. Oh, and there's a little blue thing that also needs to come off. This has got all kinds of crap on it. Okay, so I'm going to put that right there. And I see this mostly on Dells. There's a little um, retention bar that goes across you have to lift up so then you kind of put it together with the tape and use the tape and the bar to pull out the connector just like that and at this point we reverse the process tape on this thing too. get it started at the beginning and then pull it forward with the tape just like that and then you can lay down the retention bar uh, that blue thing <laughs> went with the went with the bag okay so that was like that and then we'll just lay the tapes down. Like that. Lay the screen up. And there's little black bits that stick through holes to help you align the screen. That one in. I'm not going to tighten them down until I get all all four of them in. That will allow me to move the screen around a little bit in case the other holes are out of alignment. I was going in the wrong hole. Okay, all in and just tighten them down. Okay, so before I put the um, the bezel back on, I'm going to close this and reattach the battery. And it's just straight down onto the motherboard. Like that. And we'll see if we get video. Power button, and I'm gonna press the F2 key about twice a second to get to the BIOS. And the only reason for doing that is to keep it from going into Windows. Okay, so video. BIOS, and that's just like the uh, the basic settings. You don't need to change anything there. Press the power button to get it to turn off. There we go. All right, so bezel back on. Doesn't typically matter where you start, but there's little clips that hold it in place along with whatever adhesive is is still there. They They tend to use a little bit too much adhesive to hold these things on from the factory. You don't need to reapply more hardly ever. Just kind of be careful with it. 
And as you're pushing, you're holding from the back to keep from stressing the screen because you do not want to crack a brand new screen. Okay, that is good. Let's get the bottom on. Okay, this bottom, uh, it just goes, I think, mainly straight on. There's little little plastic bits here that probably had to go in first. So I'll concentrate on getting those in. I just lay it down, give some presses, and screw it back in. sure it's all snapped back together. Yep. Power her on and make sure she boots into Windows. Yep, here comes Windows 10. There you go. It's a matter of logging in. So that was replacing the screen on a Dell Latitude 5480. Thanks for watching.